up RevJ. I'll tell you what's happening because this episode is called People and Their Pets. Now, who, who would have horses for pets? Horsey Hannah would have horses for pets. But before that, we're going back to my friend, Rev C, up north. Now, Rev C, when you were over by your veg tray, because, I mean, I've been asking the children about their pets. I don't think Noah keeps bees as pets. Um, but I think I spotted your pet in the corner. Now, would you tell us what your pet is? My pet, I shall get her for you. My pet is an, a little, oh, she's very heavy. She's a little <gasps> Hello, she's a North Watty. Hello, hello, Millie. Hello, Millie. Now, she's a North. Sorry, just say that again. We keep missing bits. She's a Norfolk Terrier. A Norfolk Terrier. Hello, Millie. Does she say hello? Will she bark? Will she get. Uh, woof, woof. Not on command. Not but on she, command. She... No, Norfolk Terriers aren't that common there's not very many of them about oh no i can tell she's very refined but i want to show you what she did yesterday Ooh. she has a favorite toy a favorite toy so that's and like a... your pet's pet yes what is and, and that she... it is a raccoon that she has murdered yesterday <gasps> Oh my goodness, we don't talk about murder on this programme. Oh my goodness, what does she do to the raccoon? She has eaten his nose and took the squeaker out. So I've had to remove it and I'm going to do surgery later to repair him. Oh my goodness. He's her mm. favourite toy. So wow, we'll, we'll Millie, to... really? That's not very kind to your pet raccoon. Well... She, she... Sorry, she loves she loves pulling and and chewing and biting, so that's why I think she's done this damage to Raccoon. Well, she is a dog after all, and terriers are renowned for being terrors. Anyhow, uh, we've got things to do, places to go, Rev C. Well, we look forward to seeing you again, then, Rev C. Thanks for telling us all your stuff. Bye. Bye, Bye Millie. Bye, Millie. Bye, Bye Revc. Woof, 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 woof. Oh, Millie is so cute. Now it's time for Horsey Hannah. Oops, sorry. Horsey Hannah, where are you? Hannah. Oh, no, that's our... Oh, here she is. That's Horsey Hannah. Hello, Horsey Hannah. Hello, um, all the children are watching you and their families. Say hi. Are those your pets? Oh, yeah. But they're bigger than you, Hannah. <laughs> yeah, I've got two, two of them. So um, could you introduce them to us, Hannah? Here is Mia. Mia. Um, she's 17. She's 17 years old. Yeah. Okay. Um, and she is what we call, because uh, we measure them in hands, so she's 16, two hands high. So she's classed as a horse. Okay. Um, and then this one here is Amy. Hi, Amy. She's 30 years old. 30? Is that like the same as, yeah. same as our years? Uh, not, um, it is, um, but they don't last um, as long as us. So 30s are quite an old age for horses. Okay. And um, Amy stands at 17 hands. 17 hands. Is that like a hand span, like... I don't know if you can see me. Is that my? Is that like a big, yeah. wide hand span? Yeah. Seventeen of those, yeah, yeah. and from the floor yeah. to her back or to her head? Uh, no, from the floor to what we call their withers, so the top of their shoulder. Their withers. 
Yeah, so the top of their shoulder. Okay, a wither. Did you know that? A wither is the top of a shoulder of a horse. I didn't know. Anyhow, Hannah, those look like quite big pets to have to look after. Can you um, tell us about looking after a horse? Uh, yeah, so it's not um, as easy as like having a dog or a cat. No. Um, so you have to come in uh, up to the yard twice a day. Oh, Mia's just moving. So they don't they don't live in your house with you then. They obviously don't live in your house like a dog or a cat. You'd need a big house, wouldn't you? No, it would be. It would be nice, but no, they don't. Okay. Uh, they live in a stable and a field. So, um, what do you have to feed her, and how often? Twice a day, did you say? Um, so, Mia and Amy both get a feed once a day, um, and it's we. Uh, they have a hard feed, so that's like a chaff um, and like nuts and oats. Oh, nice. Um, and then they have garlic in their in their food as well. Garlic? What is that for? Yeah. It's to stop the flies. Oh, well, I never. There's a good yeah. tip. If you don't like flies, eat lots of garlic. Does that work for humans? I don't know, actually. It definitely works for the horses. It keeps people away anyway. If you breathe garlic all over them, doesn't it? They don't like it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, um... They um tell me about their their feet, can you? Their hooves, because do you, you don't they don't like have toenails and claws like lots of pets do. So their hoof is actually made out of the same material as your fingernail. Oh, okay. Um, so it's, ke it's keratin it's made out of. So what do you have to do with their hooves? They do they do your horses have shoes on like metal horseshoes? Yeah, so they have the farrier every six weeks. Wow, a farrier. No, sorry, a farrier. Is that another animal? <laughs> no, it's a person that uh, makes horseshoes. Oh, yeah, I knew that really. I knew that really, yeah. Okay, so he comes every six weeks and so yeah. does he like nail a bit of metal into her hoof? Yeah, so the farrier actually has only um, a couple of millimetres to put the nail into their feet, otherwise it would be like putting a nail into your finger. No, I thought they couldn't feel. So they can yeah. feel in their hoof. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Who knew that? Who knew that? <laughs> now, she, she likes um, pushing things and people over by the look of it, Mia does. Well, it's her way of affection. Okay. Really. <laughs> um, Paul, you don't need to try that at home. <laughs> <laughs> Pushing people over is a way of effect. She's nuzzling, is she? Yeah. Now, she looks very beautiful. Um, is she a certain... What What does she do as a horse? Like, Because horses do lots of different types of things, don't they? Yeah, so Mia um, is a show jumper um, and she has show jumped... Uh, we show jumped nationally and internationally for Great Britain. Oh, wow. Um, Has she won prizes then? Yeah, so, um, well, with horses you win money. Ooh. <laughs> but they cost um, a lot of money, right? They do. <laughs> um, and um, so, yeah, she's show jumped. Um, she's, had, she's having a bit of a quiet downtime at the moment, so no competing or anything, but I might get her out of next year. And you ride her in national and international competitions? Yeah, so in Britain and abroad. Now, get this, Paul, get this. I was asking Hannah the other day, how do you get a horse to the other part, another part of the world? And I could not believe it. I mean, I knew they would go on a boat. But can you imagine horses on aeroplanes, Paul? Can you? No, neither could I. Hannah, what is it with horses on aeroplanes? How does that happen? Yeah, so they go on a cargo plane um, and it's a it's a aeroplane specialised for taking horses. Um, so they go into small stalls um, and, um, yeah, they're flown. They can fly all around the world, really. Do they have to put them to sleep? Um, no, not necessarily. Um, it's better that they're they're kind of awake. Um, 
you can't travel with them. So um, <laughs> they go off and they're travelled with people that specialise in travelling horses on an aeroplane. So are you happy if any of our uh, viewers have got questions about horses, um, I can contact you again and ask you their questions? Yeah, of course. And just before you go, tell us what you do for a job. She's trying to eat your hand, Hannah. No, no. <laughs> She's licking it. There, better, better, better. Okay, um, what do you do for a job, if she'll let you tell us before we go? Uh, so, <laughs> I'm an equine and animal uh, lecturer at a college university. So I teach, um, like, biology, science of horses and different types of animals. So that word equine is what? Um, is what we call... Um, basically the whole uh, the horse industry so horsey stuff horsey yeah. stuff so horsey hannah has told us about horsey stuff which we now know is called equine well mia and amy thanks for um well being as still as possible hannah thank you so much we'll be in touch bye bye, bye. there she was horsey hannah can you believe, like, a plane full of horses? No. I wonder if they have to wear seatbelts. No, they go in boxes. Well, I never. I want to know about your pets now, please. Thank you. This photo is me and Nibbles, one of our guinea pigs. Rose C asked if we had any apple or pear or hawthorn trees in our garden. Is the miny bees like them? We have an apple tree, which is what I am stood in front of, but there is a pear tree and a hawthorn tree nearby. Well, that was Noah from the wonderful Hill family. Thank you. And did you notice how clever Rev C from Darlington was? She knew that Noah would have those trees in his garden because of the bees. She's so clever, that Rev. Anyhow, also here is the lovely Poppy Hill with two of her chickens. Now, Poppy... We really do need to know a bit more about looking after chickens and what are their names, please? Tell us for next week. And of course, we can't have an episode of Revved Up with Rev J without at least a mention of those Hebden boys. Now, Henry has a hedgehog called Hedgy. Well, he lives in their garden, so it kind of is their pet. So, Henry Hebden's hedgehog called Hedgy. He's here with amazing poster that he's made with a picture of Hedgy and a hedgehog fact file for you to read all about the food, the habitat, the length and the lifespan of hedgehogs. Amazing, amazing poster, Henry Hebden from Hedge Hedgehogville. Thank you so much. Now, I happen to know that Rev Tasha had a pet. She has sent me a picture. And next time we're going to be talking about Rev T, Rev T, Rev C and Rev J. We're going to be talking about Tasha's doggy and her bunny. And we've got a picture of it. It's really cute. Cutey, cutey, cute. Oh, talking of cute. Here is Rev C's pet doggy, Millie. And also, do you remember St. George last time from that brilliant story from the Hebdens? Here on the left-hand side is Millie as a saint. Oh, St. Millie, I'm going to leave the final word to her. So, for next week, tell me about any more of your pets and any ways that you look after the environment. And be excited because we are going to be doing groovy moves with Rev J. Well, bye for now, everybody. See you next time. Bye. Move, funky moped. Move, funky moped. Move, 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 funky moped. Move, funky moped.